Hello, and welcome back to XRP Vault, where we bring you the most recent and intriguing XRP news. We're giving away 10,000 XRP to those who are watching, all you have to do is upvote, subscribe, comment XRP is king and watch the video to the end to be eligible. The winners will be picked next month and publicized on the community page of the channel. In this video, I want to address two very prevalent myths currently permeating the XRP community. One of these has to do with the continuing rippling SEC lawsuit. Folks, it seems that one of the key ideas in this case is fundamentally misunderstood by the public. In this video, I want to clarify that as well as clear up a common misconception about XRP's price. Make sure to watch all the way to the end of the video because I also want to show you guys a clip that explains how XRP gains value and how it can increase in value by a lot more than many members of the XRP community anticipate. As always, the support you guys give our channel is greatly appreciated. Guys, I want to start this video by addressing one of the biggest myths about the continuing Ripple SEC lawsuit that I often encounter. What matters in determining whether something is a security or not is the subject of this discussion. And what elements are wholly unimportant? It always comes back to rippled holdings of XRP when I see different people debating whether XRP is a security or not. Because I want to demonstrate to you that whether or not you agree with Ripple having that XRP, the amount of XRP Ripple holds has nothing to do with whether or not XRP is a security. Because Ripple owns a significant portion of XRP, I frequently hear people claim that it qualifies as a security. However, that is not a legal defense. Actually, it's an emotional argument. Many individuals object to the fact that Ripple retains a sizable amount of XRP and as a result, they use that as justification to label XRP a security. I'll show you. What lawyer Bill has to say about this because he makes it crystal plain. He also claims that the amount of XRP that Ripple has and whether or not it will be deemed a security has no bearing on whether or not XRP will be labeled a security of Ripple. Take a look at this, fellas. I want to go over a tweet thread from lawyer Bill that specifically addresses his problem. And this is essentially a result of Celsius declaring bankruptcy. You may be asking why Celsius is being discussed here. The judge in the Celsius case actually said, hey, there aren't any clear regulations in the United States that we can look to. So, in order to decide what to do with these assets, we will have to look at another jurisdiction. Gary Gensler from the SEC claims that the regulations are clear, which is rather funny. A judge in the US is suggesting that we have nothing to look at in the meanwhile. To find rules on digital assets that are clear, we're going to the UK. In the UK, XRP is not considered a security. I'd like to examine why this is the case as well as how nothing at all Ripple's XRP holdings have to do with it. View this, please. Among the distributed ledger technologies are Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP DLT makes it easier for different network participants to share data electronically. However, the information represented by the digital asset does not grant XRP any rights over anything outside of the network. There are no rights or obligations that I as an XRP holder can legally enforce against Ripple. Despite the fact that Ripple participates in the network and owns the majority of the tokens, it offers or obtains no rights or obligations from XRP holders outside the networks, such as a share in the profits. As a holder of XRP, I have no legal standing to hold Ripple to any duty or responsibility. Therefore, it doesn't matter how much XRP ripples someone has. The analysis above remains unchanged since law commissioners, who wrote this document, have a much deeper understanding of crypto assets than second attorneys. So, gentlemen, you need to understand that it doesn't really matter whether or not Ripple holds a lot of XRP. Exxon is a large oil owner. Apple has a large number of iPhones, but they are not securities, therefore it makes no difference. It doesn't matter whether there are many of these companies, just as it doesn't matter if Ripple has a large XRP holding. The most fundamental factor in determining whether something is a security or not is if an XRP holder has an investment contract. What rights do we have to rip? The apparent answer to that question is no, as the SEC was unable to locate any investment contracts. Furthermore, it makes no difference how much XRP is owned by Ripple, this in no way constitutes an investment contract. And that is what I believe people really need to comprehend and think about. It makes no difference if Ripple sells XRP or how much XRP it holds. Even if Ripple offers XRP to some market participants at a discount, it makes no difference. Nothing here alters the reality that XRP holders and Ripple do not have an investment contract. Holders of XRP have no duties or rights toward the corporation Ripple. And as a result, all of the additional elements that are employed to evoke feelings are irrelevant to this examination. So, guys, 
Take note, this is crucial. It really gets at the crux of the matter in assessing whether or not something qualifies as a security. And I find it hilarious that this is such an open and obvious fact in the EU. And we are finding it so difficult to comprehend this over here in the US. The good news is that Bill's legal counsel acknowledges that Ripple may be able to use this filing in their case. And it might possibly be quite important. If Ripple were to use this file in their case, it would demonstrate to the judge that there isn't an investment contract by demonstrating that any reasonable court would examine. This. This is exactly what they are doing. You are acting contrary to what any sane market participant would be doing in this situation because the SEC's understanding of the case is so wildly out of line. The SEC can actually attach Ripple to a few sales and claim that you sold this particular amount of XRP in a transaction involving securities. However, XRP in the secondary market cannot possibly be classified as a security. And in my opinion, this just clarifies the situation on that front. Since I hear so many people discussing XRP, I want to move on and offer you guys this incredibly fascinating video about its price potential. XRP will reach $10, I see. Oh, XRP will reach this cost. In addition, these folks don't know what they're talking about, guys. They are making an educated guess in an effort to foretell the future. But in the end, nobody knows just how high XRP will go. Many individuals claim that it is utterly illogical to assume that XRP could ever reach $100. Guys, this is why I'm showing you this video, I want to demonstrate to you the genuine price potential that XRP has, which many believe it can achieve. And I believe that this video exemplifies how severely some individuals misunderstand the possibilities of the XRP price. Guys, pay attention to this, it's a great video, and anyone who claims to predict where the price of XRP will go has no idea. Absolute ignorance. However, I'll give you a glimmer of a possibility. Therefore, XRP is merely a valuable financial instrument. And that instrument is essentially the liquidity between many other instruments, such as bonds, equities, currencies, all of the dates, and everything else in general. And because it would cost XRP to purchase those items on the network and utilize that liquidity, the XRP is only worth the value of the goods that are issued on it. In the end, you must issue all of the debt as well as all of the equity, which is what has to happen in this situation. Therefore, XRP is only constrained by the financial accountability of those who issue assets on it, which is blatantly reckless. Thus, XRP might be worth $100 million. Depending on how many assets you wish to issue onto the network, the price might be $1 million. When I merely consider issuing another $500 million in debt, that also adds value to the network. So if you want to issue, say, $100 trillion worth of equity, cool, that's a lot of money on the network. So basically, there is an unbelievable amount of wealth that might be going via these networks that we simply cannot fathom. For those of you who do not know who it is, it is actually Quincy Jones. This is because of the question of how to issue more and more and more value in the mails. He has a video on YouTube called Coins Club Crypto, and he actually had a big impact on how I understood the potential worth of XRP in the network. Quincy made me realize that XRP is much more than just a payment token, which is how many people who don't fully understand it view it. XRP is actually far more of a liquidity token than a payments token. Guys, XRP will be so much more than simply payments if it truly achieves the widespread adoption that I and many other members of the XRP community believe it might achieve one day. It will actually serve as a platform for the next generation financial system. For it to develop into that platform. Guys, it needs to be issued with all of the assets that make up our current financial system, which total trillions of dollars in value. And this is also debt, as Quincy Jones reminds out. We need to tokenize all of the various forms of value that we have. And the blockchain for tokenization is the XRP ledger. People struggle to comprehend this. Because we only make this many payments each year, some people claim that XRP can only increase to $10. But, guys, XRP is far more than that. It is a whole new technology. That would be like, claiming that the internet could only be worth as much as the post office in the past since all it would show would be people sending letters. You see, people didn't grasp all the various uses for the internet back then, just as they don't understand all the intricate and highly sophisticated methods that are employed today. In the future, our financial system will be entirely upgraded on the XRP ledger. There is no question in my view that various assets will be tokenized on the XRP ledger. Guys, these assets will need liquidity as they are added to the XRP ledger, and XRP will provide that liquidity. 
the value of XRP will skyrocket as a result of this. Because it is so much more than $10 and requires widespread adoption, the ideals that people don't comprehend aren't being discussed. We need all of this to work out. But guys, if it works out and we modernize our financial system and accept XRP as a mainstream financial asset, all those individuals who claim it will never reach $100 are insane. Anyway, gentlemen, I really appreciate you being here. I hope this update was enjoyable. Please remember to like and subscribe if you did. For the time being, it truly means a lot.